Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to lesson 45 on Knowledge Robo. Today, we're making a number guessing game, and yeah, so this seems pretty interesting. So, we're going to get started. So, to start off, we're going to go into random. Random is a library which we can get random numbers out of, and yeah, so let's make our first function which is going to define. It's going to be the guess. Um, and there. so that's the function now. So lower bound or lowest is equal to one and highest is equal to one hundred. These are the numbers. So number number two guess is going to be the number two guess. So that's going to be random. We're calling the library now. Random dot rand integer. We're calling the function from the library. And uh, we ca cannot use this function without the uh, random library. It, it will say this yellow line because uh, oh, no, we have some things to do here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Go, why are you printing number two? Yes. Okay. See, this is why we don't trust the AI right now. Still being developed. Uh, zero. And uh, now we can just print. Print. Now here there. So yes, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go F, right? So we can put these numbers in here instead of having them ourselves. So I'm thinking of number between lowest and highest, which is the lowest number and the highest number. And now we're just gonna say come down here while true. It's gonna go user G is equals to input take there we go. Try without us accept value errors and other errors. So we're just gonna use try user g. Yeah, integer user g. Now user just to be turned. So integer user g. Uh, user g is there. So this we could do like this. What it's saying, but we can go like this of course this is a bit more you know out of uh you know our mind we still haven't top gone over these topics yet so we're not gonna use this so we're just gonna do we're gonna increment attempts and also yeah the code did all the AI yeah, also didn't do the attempts so we wouldn't know how many attempts the player had so if user g is less than the number to guess we'll just go ahead and say print too low if it's too uh come on man what are you doing in there this was wrong this was wrong so Expected what where? Oh, there. Now, this one we could fix. What? Number two guess. Why are you there? Now, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna. Once we have this, uh, so if user G is lowest, lower, lower than the number two guess, so we can just say too low. If he's too high, we're just gonna say too high. If the user guess is equals to the number two guess then we can say this but we're, this will be wrong because we're not we don't have any other like any other thing we have to try so we're just gonna say like this and now we can do you got it you got it the number we can just put the number so number two guess is correct. It took you that's many it took you attempts. Now what do you want here? Line too long, hundred and five. Are you actually kidding me? Is that actually something bro? It's correct. Back what I said before because the first thing the line is too long, 
I've never even had that error. Uh, what? 85, whatever. Uh, so to get him to guess this to 34, let's see, 34, 34 guesses. Now, then we can just break out the loop, and now what we can do is we can just go ahead here, accept value error, and we're just going to do print invalid input, please. Enter a valid number. So that's the project done. Oops. So that's the project done. Well, we're just gonna play the function so that we can play the game actually. And that is our uh, little guessing game done. So I'm thinking of number between one and one hundred. Take a guess. Let's go. 142 too high, of course it is. What if I see 100 too high? Okay, 50 too low, 70 too low, 80 too low. Now, now we know that it's between 70 and 80, something like there too low, 76 too low, 77 too low, 78. You got it. And it's gonna say how many guesses it took me. And that's the game. So I can explain this by if we go up here, uh, import random. This is our library. Now we're making the whole game inside of one function. And lowest is equals to one. These are the limits that we're setting for the game to go at. And number two guess is the number that's that the game is going to be choosing. So we're just going to random the rand integer, lowest and highest, and this is going to be stored inside this variable, which we can use later, and attempts is equals to zero. Now, these are all being set as soon as the game function runs, so that the, let's see, run again, the older variables will, won't be used there. So, print, I'm thinking of a number between lowest and highest. While true is a loop, infinite loop, which will just stop if you break out of it, and yeah. So user g, which is user guess, input take a guess. This is the guess, so the input will go inside user g. And then just try so we can accept errors for this one, we use the value error. And try, and then we keep on going for our next code. User g guess is equal to integer of the user guess. So we're including integer of the user guess. Then we're also incrementing the attempts. So we're adding the attempts variable by one. If the user guess is too low, then we'll just say it too low. We check too low that by using this. And if it's too high, we'll go ahead and say it's that it's too high. Otherwise, it means if none of these are correct, it means that the that we have guessed correctly. And we can just say, you got it. It took you. And then we're just adding the number of attempts here, guesses. And then we just break out the loop, which will stop the game completely. Otherwise, if none of this is true, go down to the accept and there must be a value error, so just say accept value error, print invalid input, please enter a valid number. Now we can just play the function, this will start the game. So since the code is, doesn't really know what to do, it's just going to say import random and it's just going to go all the way down here and it's just going to see this guess number. And then it's going to go back up and it's going to read what guest number will do and it'll just play the guest number function. So that's it for lesson 45 and see you guys in the next lesson.